Hello everyone. So today uh, we are going to experiment with substrate materials. So here what I have implemented is something like the Palantir in Lord of the Rings. So it's like a looking stone where we can see somewhere else through a glow. But this is more like we see another universe inside this. So it's nothing in particular just i was just uh, testing and seeing what what are these nodes does and what where those things leads instead of really having any particular look in my mind but this is what i finally came up with so here yeah, so it kind of has like a depth so we see somewhat this universe is inside the globe even though it's just a material and here I have applied it to the that material preview mesh so you can see how it looks in a bit of a detailed mesh so yeah let's see how to implement this and before we get started a quick reminder that you can download the projects of all the things that I try in my channel from the veteran page link would be in the description so there you have those you will find thousands of projects that i have worked on and you can access project files of each and everything uh, from here right now let's get back here now the first thing is uh, you need to enable substrate so go to project settings if you don't know like this project settings and type substrate and here you can see substrate materials i have enabled that and i enabled this as well well i actually haven't uh, gone through the documentations to see what each and every every the each of these options does but i just enabled it and tried it out okay so then uh oh uh, yeah here yeah you see it's jelly because initially i was trying to create something like a jelly material but this is what it finally became so m substrate yeah so i have already enabled it but if you haven't once you enabled it enable it you will have to restart the project and also when you enable it you see the default materials uh, once you create a material this is the default look you get so it's a bit different uh, from what we, what we are used to in unreal materials but it's yeah so just like uh, in previous case here we have base color so let me promote this to a vector parameter and we call it color one and let's sign something like this and if i want to make it like a shiny surface i'll set the roughness to zero and same as here we can duplicate this and create another material now I'll make this, name this, color 2 and uh, let's make it a different color connect here so then here we have an, a node called substrate vertical layer so there are multiple types of blendings uh, this one worked for me i didn't try other one uh, other options so here we can blend these two materials and let me promote this opacity to a variable if i make it zero it's like this but if i make it a, a less value like this 0.5 you can see now so the 
bottom material appears through the top material now to see the effects more clearly let's just grab some normal map from engine content I don't have any normal maps in the map itself so just uh, some normal map let's try this one okay so but I'm not really happy with the way it looks so what I just tried is I go to a Fresno node and try connecting it for the city now here you see we have something interesting and I can reduce this value to increase this uh, amount that we see here in the edges uh, in the first color and then the next thing is inside instead of instead of having just a color I wanted to have that uh, space so here I imported this texture cube and used it in the material and let me disconnect this color and put this for the emissive color now you can directly use it because uh, we need to sample the cube map we need a U, uh, UVW input so I can give a reflection vector in order to get that effect so like this so here one thing you should know one thing important if you put camera uh, vector you can get this effect if I show you that in the level um, let me duplicate this and use the material that I just created the test material M substrate now you see when I go around the image inside the globe also moving so it kind of looks like we are looking through some into some other di dimension but I like not I didn't really want to have that effect so if you have something like a, a portal that effect would be useful but for now I don't really want it okay now this is I like the way it looks now so now improving so here in the this one you can see we have some more contrast but this is not the uh, this does not this does not have that kind of a contrast so so we can try let's try this let's do a power here now we have something but it's not clear because of this shining uh, let me promote this to a, another parameter darker but that's not what we really need okay uh, let's promote these also to parameters metallic one uh, 
specular zero okay oh in this environment we don't see the outer layer at all so maybe I'll give some emission on the outer layer as well that's too much it's visible but that's too much so let's multiply this with mm, 0.3 further decrease this opacity okay we are somewhat getting there but now the normal is barely visible I'll use the same normal for the second layer as well just to see what happens yeah now we have somewhat the normal okay uh, now still I'm not happy with the way it look in the inside so here let's add a multiplier as well okay. Now it's much sharp inside okay all right we're slowly getting there so yeah now the next thing is having some movement here you can see we have some uh, active movement on the surface so to get that I'm gonna need some noise so noise what should we use let's first add some noise to the outer layer maybe try this so to get movements we can get the text code texture coordinate and well, no, he can use a pan. Maybe like zero point zero two and zero point zero two. Now, where should we use this? What if we use it here? we just need some movement so you see in these corners we see a subtle movement so let's apply and see how it looks here okay but this is uh, too uniform so I'll duplicate this and Let's multiply this with the minus one. Add it. Add this thing to these two together. Let's see how it looks now. No. What? Okay. What about this? That's better. Uh, 
No, that's fine. Okay. Here also, let's make the roughness. Let's use the same roughness. Okay, now also here you see there is some pulse inside this universe as well. So for that what I did is this. I used another noise. Maybe this one. And then got one channel multiplied by some value and used it here like this so already you see a difference but i want to give a moment to this one as well so and now you see that also have some pulsing going on inside. Okay, so and you might see some differences in the colors. That's because I have just slightly uh, fine tuned, or just changed the parameters. But basically, that's it. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully you can use this somewhere. Uh, I just I just wanted to try substrate. So um, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. Maybe if I learn something interesting with substrate, I'll share the master in future. And as always, you can download the project files here. Mm, let me know what you guys think in the comments and see you in another episode. Goodbye.